Receiving a cancer diagnosis is a traumatic event in someone's life, but different people can have a different approach towards a cancer diagnosis. Some can develop a more proactive approach and take a cancer diagnosis as a battle that they want to fight and they want to win. Others can feel hopeless or uh, more fatalistic. The different um, approaches that we have towards the cancer diagnosis can depend on different factors, such as the network of relationships that support the cancer patient, like family and friends, or the relationship with the body, or the trust we have in the healthcare system, or the relationship with the doctor. All of these factors have profoundly changed in the past few decades. So if we take, for example, the doctor-patient relationship, if we think about it, when we don't feel well, what's the first thing we do? We check our symptoms on the internet. And then when we go to the doctor, we think that we already have an idea of what we might have, or what exams we need to take, and so on. Before the arrival of Dr. Google, we would just go to the GP and ask and trust him. So now, trust in the medical knowledge is not something taken for granted anymore. And the relationship and the trust between doctor and patient is something that needs to be built every day. Cancer patients now have also the opportunity to share their illness experience online on cancer blogs and uh, meet other people who have the same disease and uh, share knowledge and share experiences and difficulties. So this is what is called lay knowledge, which means the knowledge of someone who is not an expert, but has uh, uh, experience on something and he's learning by experience. So all of these, so the doctor-patient relationship is just one of the examples of all these factors that are actually changing right now. So when we build healthcare policies, we need to take all of these things into consideration. So this is why it is important to study how these uh, factors are changing and to build practices that promote the empowerment of cancer patients. Empowerment means being able to have a sense of control over the disease and uh, be active in the management of your health. The next question is, is your, the healthcare system ready?